Welcome in, welcome in, happy Monday everybody, hopefully you guys had a good weekend, um, we've been doing really really good over here on these videos, it's the first video of June, so happy June to everybody, we didn't have a video obviously uh, Saturday, I was busy winning a golf outing, and then I uh, wasn't able to do one Saturday night, and then the, uh, the game started early on Sunday, but uh, yeah, let's just keep this forward momentum, we had a great video uh, on Friday, I believe we went 2-0. and And for my premium card, which you can access at betcumber.com slash pricing, in addition to all these tools that I show off on the videos, um, you know, I've been telling you for two weeks, I feel really good with, you know, my process and, and my research. And I am 21-13-1 uh, and 13 and one over my last 35 bets up nine units that's over the last seven days so let's keep that moving and let's uh let's start the week strong here with some winners so monday it's actually a smaller baseball slate today there's only like seven games uh, and i have the trends live trends uh page pulled up here there's a couple pitchers that we like to target and there's one pitcher that we have been betting on pretty consistently and they're all going today. So even though it's a smaller slate, there's kind of like some good spots based off what we've been doing recently. So we're going to talk about that for starters. We're going to go to the San Diego Padres and uh, the Los Angeles angels. So you can see here, um, there's a little bit of uh, differential between the bet percentage and the handle percentage coming in on the Padres. I have not checked the money line predictor yet today, uh, and it is against us, so that's not good. But um, here's here's what I want to talk about when it comes to to the Padres and why I'm interested in them tonight. I no normally I don't like to go against the money line predictor on these videos, but there's just one there's just one reason that we're going to. And it's just how lucky Tyler Anderson has been. I've talked about it on these videos before, and it really hasn't it hasn't really worked out for us yet. But when something like this happens, I'm just gonna keep betting on it until you know we we get some wins on it. So Tyler Anderson this this season has pitched to a two four seven ERA, four sixty two expected. You know, it doesn't have a lot of strikeout stuff. His WOBA allowed is 282, expected 340. So this guy has been, you know, what we call a Houdini act. He's been very, very lucky. And at some point, that luck has to wear off. And when it does, I, I just don't want to be the guy, you know, that bets against him two, three times, and then I don't bet against him, and that regression comes, and, and you know, you know, we miss out on, on getting that money back. So we're going to fade Tyler Anderson once again tonight. We are going to take the San Diego Padres first five on the money line. It's minus 135 over on DraftKings. You know the story with Tyler Anderson if you watch these videos by now. He throws a lot of change-ups. It's his second most used pitch. He throws 35% of the time. It is a very good change-up. 191 batting average allowed. Um, he gets 37% whiffs on it. It's really the only reason why you know he can kind of navigate these hitters. He doesn't get any ground balls. He doesn't get any strikeouts. He has found ways to get out of jams that just didn't, I didn't even know was possible. Go look at his last few starts and, you know, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Like the guy has been extremely, extremely lucky. And at some point that's going to run out. I don't want to miss out on it. So we're going to take San Diego again tonight. Um, this is kind of a, one of those spots where something has to give. Tyler Anderson is due for extreme regression. And the Padres are not good against left-handed pitching. So something, <laughs> something's going to happen tonight. I don't know. Hopefully it's in our favor and the Padres come through for us. If we look at Tyler Anderson, he's actually been uh, kind of reverse splits this year. He's been slightly better against right-handed hitters than left-handed hitters. But, I mean, it's a pretty small sample size. If we look at last year, he allowed a 341 Woba to righties, 181 uh, ISO. And then this year he's at 281 Woba and 123 ISO. So numbers are better across the board. But, you know, like I said, I don't know how much we can take from that. It is still a pretty small sample size. 
You know, we're looking at 500 plate appearances against righties last year compared to 198 this year. There could be some noise in there. Um, but yeah, this is not, this is purely, this play is purely based on the incoming regression coming to Tyler Anderson. And I'm going to keep riding it until it hits. So give me the Padres on the money line for the first five innings today at minus 135. The second play is our, our pal Kyle Gibson, who we faded on this video uh, last week and against the Reds, and the Reds did absolutely nothing. They scored one run against him. They had the bases loaded, I'm pretty sure, at one point and did not get any runs out of it. Another guy that continues to to just walk the, the tight, tight beam there, uh, balance beam, and just get out of these jams and stuff. So if we look at Kyle Gibson for this season, 3-6-0 ERA, 524 expected. He gives up 43% hard hits, doesn't have a lot of strikeouts. Uh, his Woba allowed 307, expected 360. Another guy with a huge gap between his uh, weighted on base allowed and the expected weighted on base allowed. At some point, this is going to correct, and you know, hopefully we can make some money on it. So this could be a good spot for uh, that to come tonight against the Houston Astros. He... Um, He's not good against left-handed hitters. You know, he's very, very split dependent. He's good against righties, bad against lefties. Uh, he's not going to see a lot of lefties in this Astros lineup. They're very right-handed, you know, heavy. But the two lefties that he will see at the top of the lineup in Kyle Tucker and Jordan Alvarez are two of the best hitters in baseball, and they can most certainly make him pay. If we can get Jordan or Tucker up to bat with some guys on base, I feel pretty confident you know, that we're going to win this bet. So how we're going to attack Gibson today, we're going to go Houston Astros first five on the spread. So they need to be winning by one run at the end of the first five innings. It is uh, minus 125 over on DraftKings as well. So both bets today are on DraftKings Sportsbook. Uh, they have the best lines for both of them. We also have a pretty big sample size of Kyle Gibson against the uh, Houston Astros active roster. Like I said, I don't like to look at BVP or pitcher versus batter splits just because there can be a lot of noise in these small sample size. But we have a 170 plate appearance sample size of Gibson versus this Astros lineup. He is allowing a 355 expected Woba, which is not good. Like I said, all of the Astros, you know, big hitters have had success against him, particularly Kyle Tucker, who... He's 5 for 17, which is a small sample size. I don't care about the 5 for 17. What I care about is, you know, the 92 mile an hour average exit velocity, a 395 expected batting average. So clearly, I think that he sees Kyle Gibson well. He matches up well, furthermore, with the pitches that Kyle Gibson throws sinker, um, sweeper. Uh, Kyle Tucker has really good splits against these pitch. So if you want to look at a uh, Kyle Tucker prop today, whether it be total bases, I think he's priced around plus 120 for his total base prop, which I definitely like. Um, if you want to pay a little more juice, you could get him to go over one and a half hits, runs, RBIs at minus 150. But I love this spot for Kyle Tucker. I've been uh, hitting, I've been picking two or three guys every day and doing uh, just them to record a hit and parlaying it together. And we've been having a ton of a uh, ton of success doing that. Uh, we hit yesterday's too. We had uh, Kyle Tucker yesterday with Kittel Marte. Easy cash there. And if you pick two guys, usually you can get around minus 110 odds. So Kyle Tucker props are particularly interesting to me today. If you want to put him in a hit parlay with someone else that you like, I think that could work as well. He's only like minus 250 to get a hit. So you could pretty, pretty much parlay him with any hitter and it's going to give you close to an even odds payout. So that's how I'm looking at today. It's a smaller Monday slate, but it's filled with two pitchers that we have been attacking quite often on these videos. It hasn't worked out for us yet. Hopefully today's the day. San Diego Padres, first five money line, minus 135. Houston Astros, first five innings spread, minus half a run, minus 125. That's the two plays for today. Uh, like I said at the top of the video, hopefully you guys had a good video. If you made it this far, or not a good video, excuse me. Hopefully you guys had a good weekend. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, so you know when I post these videos every single day. Hopefully we start Monday off good with uh, another 2-0.
So uh, good luck with your bets tonight. I will be back on Tuesday for another video, and uh, I'll see everybody then.